These children appear oblivious to any fear or worries. Their parents, though, have much on their minds. We are protecting the family's identity for the safety of their relatives locked up in Bashar al-Assad's prisons. We are originally from Aleppo. When the Assad regime started the bombing and the crackdown, especially just after they kidnapped my brother, we left for the opposition-controlled territory, where we felt we would be safer. For the family, Afrin was supposed to be just a transit point to their destination. They didn't know that the YPG would restrict their movement and effectively hold them, as they put it, hostage. Abu Umar's wife wanted to financially contribute to the family, but she says that contrary to what the YPG claims about equality, she had to confront a different reality. There were many job opportunities during the YPG rule, and they were offering them to women as well, but only to those women who were their supporters, basically discriminating in favor of those Kurdish women who supported the PKK. The Turkish government had long argued the YPG discriminated against Kurds who did not support them, as well as Arabs and Turkmen in areas under their control. In January 2018, Turkey launched Operation Olive Branch. Its primary aim was to clear the Afrin region of the YPG to prevent them from posing a threat to Turkey. And secondly, to create safe areas so that Syrian refugees in Turkey could return home. But Ankara's reasons did not go down well with some. Is this inacceptable what in Afrin passiert, wo tausende und aber tausende von Zivilisten verfolgt sind, zu Tode kommen oder flüchten müssen? Auch das verurteilen wir auf das Schiff. Ankara rejected such charges, with the Turkish military saying it exercises utmost diligence to avoid civilian casualties. Turkish officials also criticize comments from some Western governments as hypocritical by pointing out that some of those nations have invaded lands thousands of kilometers away in the interests of national security. This time last year, this area was under the control of the YPG. That is no longer the case. But the Turkish government says there's more to be done. It wants to invest in infrastructure development and setting up basic facilities like this post office, health centers and schools. The administration here says many locals who had managed to flee from the YPG have started returning. And it's not just them. People from other parts of Syria too have now found Afrin to be a safe place. We left eastern Huta and moved to the free parts in the north of the country. We have found this area very safe compared to where we have come from. I wasn't able to start a business in my town. Here, I have started a business and a new life. Ankara says its next operation will target the YPG to the east of the Euphrates River. In recent weeks, Turkish diplomats have been engaged in shuttle diplomacy between the Americans, Russians, Iranians and others. Especially after the Trump administration announced its plans to withdraw from Syria. Back at the Umar family home, Um Umar is now employed. She says while they can't change the past, at least they have an opportunity to create a future. Hassan Abdullah, The Newsmakers, Afrin, Syria.